Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mine Luigi Superstar Saga. I'm KM161 and it's time to do a light show. All I do is just to get this light to the beginning by redirecting these mirrors. Uh, I have I'm probably going to start cutting them out soon just because I want a bunch of them. Uh, they are one of my favorite enemies, although so much fun. And here's the tri brand. If you do not make these things into the correct color, it is a pain in the ass to fight them. There's just three of them and they, ha and they all have a lot of HP and defense. They don't do a decent chunk of damage, too. After these three, I think I'll just cut it out. That's the strongest, blue's fastest, I think yellow's defensive. I think that's how it works. I could be completely wrong, do not take my wood board at all. Go check it up if you want to know. I could I could be just talking nonsense. I just what it seems to be as of now. Ah, damn it. What? <sighs> oh, whoa. Hey, wait a second here. There's two of them in the same color now. Come on. Oh my god. And because it's so fast, he moved that way. Good. Uh, crap. That's not the conventional way to do it, but... Okay. Guess that works, but I don't get why they didn't... Oh, come on! That was weird. I don't get why they didn't do destroyed when there was only one color left. Oh, one thing I learned off-screen a little bit. These are beans, these holes in the ground. Oh, and... Oh, crap, that's right, there was a bunch of coins back there. Oh, well, I'll get it on the way back. I was wondering with this thing. Um, this thing will... Ah, uh, this thing is a back and forth game between Mario and Luigi. You hit it and a coin pops out. It goes fast every time. Most, time, most coins you can get is... Uh, I'm, not sure, that's the, I'm not sure what the maximum is. You just try and do it. You can do it over and over again, but... As you can see, there's an easy way to cheat. Hit it multiple times on its way here and it will register it. Ah, oh, guys. Wait. Damn it. game and kind of an easy way to get a decent amount of coins below, but I don't need to do it being. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Can't go under there. We need Mini Mario. Mini Mario, to save. Mini Mario comes to save the day. And I can't do it on there, so... That door creates that. Jump using the AB buttons and hit the blocks. Uh, 30 points in 25 seconds or less. So another mini game. Pretty easy. Hit uh, Luigi's. They'll come at you at varying speeds. Just hit them when they're over the head. Pretty easy. Just need to be able to look quickly between place to place. This is not hard. Actually, it might be even easier than the Hoopoo Spirits. That one actually had uh oh. It's happened they go really fast. Wow. How am I seriously gonna fail at this? Oh my god. I see that I go keep on going saying it's so easy and that I fail completely. That was pathetic. Oh my god, they get that fast at the, at the end. Don't get the first try. Don't worry. They, you can just keep on going with it. The speeds vary, so if you get lucky, you can just get lucky. So I see I did it. There was a couple seconds left. Unlock that one. And that. And then I can jump up here, which I thought was mean the first time I played this game because I was stuck there forever. This now. I was stuck in that one room, small room, because I couldn't figure out what the hell to do because I didn't realize you could walk up here. Wait, what do you. And here. Nothing. That doesn't sound like a secret. Or oh, maybe it's over here. Uh, something's here, it's gotta be. Must be something, must be something later. 
Like I said, this series is my favorite, it's the one I am fuzzy at. that Luigi can even move, or the fact that you could pop through a bale with a wind, with a wind underneath, and that moves that. Okay, it's down there, and stop it there, which unlocks that area. Like I said, his entire area is just redirecting that light. I'm really confused, I can't throw something that way. Eh, whatever. Mario Luigi block, but it's a big one and it's a single one. It won't rotate, won't rotate directly in one direction. It will, some of you will be random which ones it will stay. It can't stay one brother, as you can see, multiple times. But it stays uh, a lot longer than the other um, moving ones. It's pretty much just reaction time and whatever you're thinking, or guessing what you think it's going to be. Oh, come on. Ooh, a nut. That's always helpful. And over here. Talk to this dude. Block rolls blocks. Move there and rush in here. It's made a photo, so strike it when I put his coins. That's the thing I like. This is a block roll. It's a very neat little special around here. It shows you the blocks of previous Mario games. <laughs> Tells you which ones too. It's really cool. This is where they manufacture all the blocks. See, this is really cool. This is the prototype. Yeah, yeah. So I told you about it. This is okay. it's pretty cool. This is the, where they create all those crazy blocks for all the Mario games and stuff. Because the people here really are smart. And there's this little niche right here that is there for no particular reason, which I never got. And next area. Uh, I don't like when they give us that much stuff. Boss fight, which I actually don't think there is in this game, in this uh, area. I'm actually, a little bit better just to wait for it to register a second before you hit it, just because guessing it that wastes precious time and can't hit it with the other brother until the previous one is hitting it. See, I'm doing, I got a lot more coins that time than I did before. And this puzzle. I hate this puzzle. Uh, now we got that. And you need to hit that with. You can't hit it yet. And one second. And move back. And this on a barrel up here is which does nothing because it is impossible. Because you need two barrels. And again. Oh, one second. Okay, I just went ahead and beat that other enemy too, like I said I would before, but I completely forgot about. And if I don't quickly, actually, I have to go get that bear wall. Uh, won't do much if we do it like this. Hold on one second. I know this puzzle requires two bits to finish, but I'm not sure what happens ahead of here. Piston explodes. Interesting. Oh, this puzzle ball. Um, this thing was over here. Oh boy. Guessing so. Got another. And that will use the spikes. with Mini Mario. Uh, can I break this? Guess not. It's a maze, as you can see. Pretty simple if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, about here. Second bell, just 
dear being this puzzle. What is this thing for? Uh, I never got that, but whatever. And it begins the Mario only segment as Luigi gets carried away in a bail and doesn't break out, even though it's been shown that you can do that. Okay, then let's see if we can get the lead without it playing any basis. If I was as a brick. Crap. Got it. Oh, what? Oh, how did I not fight him? I thought I bounced off his just- I thought I just bounced off his head. Grr. Screw it, I'll get him with Luigi. And there's Luigi at the top there, but unfortunately, it's time for Donkey Kong's Revenge. As you can see, we have to jump over these barrels. Any of you have played Mario vs. Donkey Kong's original version, you should recognize this. It's actually a pretty fun arcade okay, game, I liked it. And then it takes it away, and then... You know, to save him, we hit a button. Which knows that, and then Luigi magically gets thrown down. And there he goes. Boink! That's what might make some turn, even though it would probably just make him crash into the wall. It was up, down, denying all laws of physics. And then, and hitting the switch. Turning the light. And making it go here to, into the last area of redirection. And there's Mario. Aww. Brotherly love. And we get to skip all the moving and come back up here. Thank you. And time to go. Now it's time for the next area, which is probably gonna happen next time, folks. So, uh, see you next time on Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I'm K161. See ya.